into the lunch rush. All right. Yeah, Matt's got to do it today. How are you boys doing? How are we're, we doing? We're, we're doing good, man. That's great. His last name, McMaster? McMaster. McMaster, yeah. Here, I've been here for three months now. I mean, we're kind of we're kind of past that point. What is it on Twitter? Matt McMedia? Uh, Matt McMedia. You're like you're the king of all media? I am the king of all media. I don't think so, pal. I'm, I'm, I'm the prince right now. All right. You guys talked about a trade deadline. Howard Stern wannabe? Up. Yeah, no coming kidding. Up, coming up this in a couple of weeks. This guy thinks he's Howard. That's hey, unbelievable. we got to get to the lunch rush, guys, all right? I mean, we got to get the show man. on the road. You're the ego on I this guy. got to get this. got to get this thing going. All righty. Trade deadline, November 5th, coming up pretty soon. You guys kind of stumbled into it. Um, Keenan Allen, the, the price has never been higher for the wide receiver as after his two-touchdown performance against the Jacksonville Jaguars. What's the minimum price a team would have to pay for you guys to be willing to get rid of Mr. Allen? Third rounder. Agree. Would you do it? Because you've got to get a contract extension. Is that a thing? Third How rounder. would you feel he's, if they got a third rounder? He's, he's not getting a contract extension here. No, he's not. Yeah, so third rounder. That's fine. If they can move for a third rounder, I want the third round. You have to be able to meet what the comp pick return would be if you let him walk in free agency. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be at least a third rounder. And if somebody desperate gets on the phone and offers me a late second round pick, I will drive Keenan Allen to the <laughs> airport. There you go. Uh, New York Post headline. Ton of Steelers don't agree with benching of Justin Fields for Russell Wilson. Albert Breer went on the Rich Eisen show yesterday. He said there are a lot of folks in that facility who do not want Mike Tomlin to go away from Justin Fields right now. Currently, the decision has been made by Tomlin reportedly, but it's been in-house. It's not out in the public yet. Yeah, I think the decision is they're going to start Russell Wilson. They had him in full practice all week with the ones. And people can mutiny if they want, but I think it's really quite fascinating that, just look, you're four and two. Of course, the locker room doesn't want the team to change. Things are going reasonably well right now. But it is wild that Justin Fields was the focal point that is getting people to turn on Mike Tomlin. I never thought Steelers fans would pivot this hard on Mike Tomlin, but now, because of Justin Fields' love, they are. He's not good. He's, he's a fine quarterback. He, he can keep you in a game when everything's going perfectly. If things go sideways at all and you need your quarterback to overcome, you're going to lose. Russell Wilson is. is a better passer of course, than Justin Fields, and I think ultimately that's the answer. Listen, Mike Tomlin handled Chase Claypool. When Claypool wanted music at practice, what did he do? He said, I'm the head coach of this football team, and I think I'll do it my way, and he's the player, and he will play, and this is the way it works. Mutiny on a Mike Tomlin team is not accepted. Yeah, it's that, not gonna happen. that will not happen. Not on his team. And Tomlin will get that room in order. He's already really had to deal with, listen, he had to deal with Antonio Brown. He had to deal with Le'Veon Bell. He had to deal with a whole slew of things. He had to, with the, who's the talent linebacker that ended up getting hurt? Frazier, Frazier, Ryan something oh, or Ryan another? Ryan Shazier. Ryan Shazier, yeah. thank you. They the had Ohio to deal State with, linebacker. They had to deal with, you know, that. The port, they lost the guy. Um, you know, it looked like it, bad things were happening to him. Uh, he was a talented kid that was going to be there for a long time. And uh, they ended up losing him. He's been able to handle and weather the storm everywhere. And now they're dealing with George Pickens. And so far, he's weathered that storm. George Pickens is like a looney tune. Yeah. I it just... I don't, I don't get why people are so up in arms. It's very clear that Justin Fields is not the answer. And I think, honestly, if you wanted to give truth serum to the front office, they would tell you they really don't want to give up a fourth-round pick over this guy. Probably and not. And if they can avoid it, they will. Yeah, and it was 18 years since they won their last Super Bowl. It's a long time since they made the Was 20, it 08? 20, yeah, they, it's, but, but it's been a long time since they won their when last was, Super Bowl. When was Steelers Cardinals, 08? It was 08 or 09. Yeah, so it's been a 15 years, decade and a half, yeah. at least. Yeah. No, yeah. I just, the, the Fields thing, I, I think that this worked out as perfectly as the front office could have hoped. They got six games out of Justin Fields where they could evaluate if he can really be the quarterback of the future. They were able to say no, and now they can avoid giving up a fourth-round pick. Well, for right now, Russell Wilson, there'll be of course, one, they, one quick acceleration until either the Achilles or the calf pops. And then he'll be back there, and Je Justin Fields will be back. There. Everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the mouth. Right. That would be the equivalent. Yes.
Go ahead, Matt. At 5 p.m. yesterday, former Bears quarterback Jake Cutler was arrested in Tennessee for driving under the influence and also had some gun charges. This occurred after he rear-ended another vehicle. Cutler, who made $126 million in his career, reportedly offered the other driver $2,000 for him not to, for them not to call the cops. A little bit of a, a, a low bribe there from, from Cuddy. You, well, I don't know. I'd go out and assess the damage. You know, if I was the driver, if I was Jay Cutler, I'd go out and assess the damage. Hey, do you want to go through insurance companies or can we go through this privately? If I'm Jay Cutler, I can make that offer. You know, and take a look at it and say, hey, here's I got three grand for you to fix your car for yourself. The problem is I don't know what three grand fixes anymore. No, I don't either. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, they're like a scrape on the front of the car. They tell you you got to replace the whole fender, right. and the, it's the fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, and then the, the uh, where they get you is the uh, the hourly. You know, I mean, oh, hours labor, it's going to yeah, take God. to get you. The labor is what ends up killing you. But you, if you're Jay Cutler and you're offering somebody two grand to not call the police on a DUI car accident, you have to hope that the person you hit does not know you're Jay Cutler. Because if they do know you're Jay Cutler, <laughs> Absolutely. then you are offering an insulting amount insulting. of money. Two grand. It's I mean, got, come on. What's, well, yeah, what? but you can't go over the top because being over the top would make it right. somewhat salacious too. So what's the number between two and ten that would have gotten the deal done for you if you were the guy in front? If I get out of my car and Jay Cutler has just folded up my trunk and I walk back and he gets out of the car and he goes, let's handle this privately. I need the number to start with a six. I need six grand minimum. Ten might actually just be the number. It uh, might just, you're going to offer me ten grand that's going to go away. It'll save you money in the long run. I'm double. I was going to say 20. Yeah, but Yurko said between two I and ten. I put limitations oh, on Two it. and ten? Yeah, because you can't get out of the car and because be like, well, it's a million dollars or nothing. Right. Not only that, he's not going into his own trunk and pulling out you know, two stacks of high society. Right. You know, this is going to have to be done some way that's not done there. $9,999 given to me on a check as a gift, and you don't have to deal with the uh, IRS, and I don't have to deal with the IRS. We keep it pushing. That's why cash. Have you done this before? That's why <laughs> cash is the best bet. <laughs> no, it's just if you gift somebody ten grand, yeah. you got to tax it. No, that was an experienced well, answer. Here's the other thing with Jay Cutler. At this point in time, with so many different driving options out there what are you doing with ubers with you know uh what's the other one they got besides uber? Lyft. lyft lyft with everything that's available plus you've got the means you can get yourself a car service i mean when i go down to uh, florida i go down to marco island we get a, a car service to take us we don't rent a car renting a car is outrageous nowadays pay 125 plus tip to take you 45 miles there and another 125 plus tip to take you back to the airport who needs a car so, I mean, why not just get a driving service to take you back and get it, pick you up the next morning? I, there is no excuse in 2024 to ever get a DUI. There's just Absolutely. no excuse. I concur. None. That, that is five o'clock on a Thursday. Like, like well, listen, what's wrong? I, I, yeah. Something's wrong. Yeah, have you I ever mean, gone for a liquid lunch? No, I haven't. Never gone for a you liquid lunch? You have never gone for a liquid lunch? You've never, never gone out no, just to have I've, some cocktails I mean, early on? No, not ever? ever. Ever? No. I mean, I have food with it if I go out and get drinks with friends. But you, I of course, you get a shrimp cocktail and a. I've never yeah, been drunk nachos. at three o'clock on a Thursday. Nachos. Never in your life. Oh, no. Never Did you even drunk. go to college? I've been drunk on eleven a.m. on a Saturday or like nine a.m. on a Friday, but I've never been drunk at five o'clock on a on a Thursday. That's crazy. That's not that crazy. It's crazy for Jay Cutler to do it and get in his car go. and rear end somebody. Five o'clock on a Thursday. But if you're, tw if you're 22 years old, you're enjoying your 20s, you hey, can get drunk at five o'clock on a Thursday. You, I went out and played golf, got rained out on the seventh tee, made it back, went to Tees Tap, which is in Linwood, Illinois. Used to be the old Owl's Tap. Now it's Tees Tap. Uh, drank in there, moved over to Bullpen into Indiana, did some edibles, and drank some more, and had to call the, uh, the, the, the uh, reliever out of the bullpen. <laughs> I had to call my son, come get me. No way. And this is 532 when he came and got me. He goes, what happened? I said, we got rained out. We started hitting it. <laughs> Not a good plan. Not a good plan. I mean, we're at the pub, teed up early. We're at the pub by like 8, 845, 9 o'clock. Made the move to Indiana at 12. By 5 o'clock, it was over. It was over.
Matt, I'm disappointed with your inexperience I'm, in day I've drinking. been drunk. I've been, I've day okay, drink well, before. I mean, to... I've I've been. I mean, just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just in general. Your man card has been old. Just yeah, in general. Done, yes, I'm drunk. I've truth. gotten drunk it's before. Gone. No, right? we know the truth. Who gets drunk on five on a Thursday? It's, like it's, it's some it's cardinal Jay sin. Jay Cutler on Thursdays. You're grown going man. He's got drunk kids. on five. He's five on a Thursday. You're going to hell. He's got kids. Father's camp party too. Were you you drunk this morning when you combed your hair? I mean, what's going on? Don't get it. Don't don't get it. Yeah, my yeah. hair is nice. Oh, I boy. have good hair. Right. You wish you had did my you, hair. Did you, you did, wish you had hey, it. Did you brush you your wish, hair? Listen to I, me. Did you brush your hair with a stack of M80s this morning? No, I did Because it's all over the place. I did not. I did not. <laughs> we I got did my, not. Mike North's got the bonus play next on Carmen and Yurko.